All right, so in this lecture, we're going to set up uh, React Router DOM. By the way, if you are experienced um, React developer and you find some of my talking is a bit annoying because I'm going through quite a lot of basic stuff as well to make things easy for everyone. So feel free to skip and you know fast forward the player. All right, now let's go give it a try by installing the React Router DOM. Let me open up my terminal. And always make sure to keep this running all right so let me stop it using Control c and then npm install react router dom all right so while it's happening let me also delete some of these files we're not going to use all right so app.css we're not going to use let's delete that uh, let's uh, delete test as well we're not going to write in test Let's uh, keep this one index.css file, but let's get rid of all the uh, CSS here. Okay, save. A logo. Logo, let's leave the logo there. Set up test, let's get rid of that. Okay. And service worker we're not using, but let's just leave it. All right, so let's keep it as it is. And here in the index.js, make sure you don't import um, app CSS or anything like that. No, that all looks good. We still have that file here. Okay, perfect. Okay, this is taking a bit longer. So while it's happening, let's write um, our code here. So for a routing system, we need a couple of pages, right? At the moment, we have just one page. So why don't we create a few pages? So if you look into our finished project, the first thing you can think of is um, creating a register page login page right so we already have the home page here we don't have anything here but we have the home page so let's create two more pages one for register and one for login right so let's begin by creating a folder inside source and i'm going to call it pages so inside pages so inside pages, let's create one file. Let's call it login.js. And all these names will have the capital letter in the beginning, right? So login.js, let's create one more. Register.js. Actually, we should put them in our auth folder because we will be having so many files here. So instead of just leaving them inside pages, let's create one more folder here inside pages called auth. And you can just uh, put these auth related files here. Right? So you can click and drag. Oh, it's already there. Register. Okay. So you can see we have a pages folder pages and inside auth we have login and register okay so let's write some code in the uh, register page let's make sure the server is running as well npm start let's keep it running and then let, let me hide this okay so register let's write a, a very simple uh, component here first let's import react let me make this sidebar a little bigger all right so import react then we can write our component const register it's an arrow function and let's use curly brace because uh, it's going to grow quite big okay it's not just going to have one element but many all right so return parenthesis and here let's uh, let's just return a div div right and then let's write a paragraph says home okay and export a default register right so that's our register component let's copy this code and use in the login as well login so click and you can um, write in multiple lines as well so you click there press command and click here and click here
okay that's login okay unfortunately i have to write p here okay so we have the login page we have the register page and we have uh, the app as well right so like i said earlier app is going to import all the routes and use uh, the routing system here so why don't we create one more component for home as well okay so inside pages let's create one file for home okay so here in the home we can put similar code in fact let's go to app.js and scrap this go to home paste all right so change this to home react home. okay so we've got three components now we can render them as three pages one login one register one home okay at the moment you will not see any difference so if you go here no difference okay if you go to login wherever you go it's still the same component only app component is being rendered so this app component is the only component being rendered here in the index.js so what we need to do now is we need to bring import these components in the app and then use this as the entry point for our application and here we will have a routing system okay so for that we installed the package earlier react router dom so let's uh, import some of the components from there import so we're going to import um, switch component and then route component from react router dom all right now let's also make sure to import our components import i think i should write multi-line here one two three import login from so we need to go once um we need to get inside auth and then login let's change this to register you can click and click by pressing command so that you can uh, type in multiple uh, lines here multiple locations so register so login register and finally home 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 and this is not from auth this is just right here okay so we've got these components as well so we can use the switch component here so here in the app let's get rid of that let's use curly brace because we need more than one element here return so we're going to return the the components uh, each components in their own route so that we they can be served as separate route and we can return separate pages for each of them for that we can use switch so switch switch component here and inside switch we're going to use the route component that we import all right so we can pass a couple of props here first one is path so where do you want to um, show this uh, what is going to be the url so this is going to be the home page so we just leave forward slash and which component you want to show when people go to the home page you want to show component home right so component home all right let's copy that so that's how we're going to use the route we need to pass these props one is the path one is the component so we give the path we give the component that will be rendered on this path i guess so let's copy and paste twice this one let's use for login and this one let's use for register okay so on the login path we want to show login component register we want to show a register component okay so that's how we can uh, use a routing system using react router dom pretty cool let's give this a try okay so can't resolve home looks like we import in a wrong way let's go to home 
export default home it's here let me close this so import home we are at the moment app so it is inside pages sorry I okay, guess it is inside pages so first we need to go let's click here let's click here let's click here pages slash auth pages slash home okay you should not use suites outside a router all right that's great so we can just use suites outside a router what that means is we need a browser router which is going to be a wrapper component as well the reason i didn't import that here because i'm going to use that in the index.js in the top level here all right so just like we import these components from react router dom let's copy that go to index and let's paste here so here we're going to import another component called browser router okay so this is going to be in the top level so it will be wrapping the entire components so here in the app we have uh, the switch route all these components they can be used only inside the browser route all right so let's copy and right here let's paste now inside the browser router we're going to render our app put it here okay and we're done now let's go to give it a try you can see we have react home uh, let's refresh in the login page we see react home register also we see react home right and if you go to the landing page we have react home so why do we have the same component even though we go to different um, routes that's because okay so make sure you have this once you're done let's close this the reason we have is we need to pass the exact flag to these routes as well so here in each of these routes we need to pass exact all right so when we use exact these this path will show the exact component otherwise only the the top one will be showing to whichever path you go all right so make sure you have this and give it a try now okay so we have react home in the home now if you go to the login we have login right if you go to register we still have home let's have a look exact path register let's go to register okay we forgot to change the name okay so we got register login and home page so we got three pages now the next thing we might want to do is create a navigation bar right and maybe uh, it's time to import some styling as well so like i said earlier we're going to use ant design component based styling and also we'll be using bootstrap material css as well so using bootstrap material css it's really easy to uh, build the layouts so we can use that and uh, when the time comes we're going to use the ant design as well so let's continue in the next lecture